Just before we move off this team, the one last player I want to ask about, because to me, listen, contracts and definitely, definitely had their own issues at certain points in time, but they also are pretty inexperienced players. And, you know, some of them, it was like a brand new lineup for them, etc. But the player I, yeah. I found very underwhelming on this team was Ole. Because as you said, like, I mean, he was a champion of the LCS. And in fact, if people go back a few years earlier, he looked like a fucking really sick support player in the LCS, actually. He had a lot of promise. I mean, pe people yeah. forget that on the Immortals team, people were like having this guy as an MVP candidate. So... Mm -hmm. What can you actually say? I mean, we're a few years away now. What what went wrong there? Because it looked like some something like went, mental went boom or something, right? What happened to this guy? Um, I think he had just a lot of personal stuff in his life to deal with. Um, he he just wasn't in like his happiest place. I, I'm really good friends with him now after the fact, but I know he was struggling during that time. Um, that's something we've talked about um, together a lot now too. I don't know he's in a better space, but during that time, like it, it wasn't too great for him. Um, I know he was trying to come off of like smoking cigarettes at the time and he ended up doing that one day actually funny enough like right before a game day and <laughs> he let us know after uh, sorry guys I, I stopped smoking last night and I felt so bad today in the game I'm like what what the hell man <laughs> why of all days did you have to choose this but like, looking back like I, I don't really blame him for any of the things that happened because I know he was he was struggling with uh, his own personal battles internally. But I know he's in a good spot now. Definitely just wasn't in the best space to be competing. But he, considering what he was going through, like he was doing pretty well with that. 